Hey guys, happy 2020! Oh my god, can we believe it is the new year? Because I can't, I literally, I am, I cannot believe this year is here already. Literally, not ready. Not ready at all. No new year's goals, nothing to achieve. Great. Welcome to the first of this series of testing Primark goods. Testing Primark goods. Hmm. I bet everyone wants to watch that. Well, welcome to a new series. New year, new series, new me. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out Primark makeup brushes. I went in the other day, got a little bag of goodies. I literally just did my everyday makeup with Primark brushes. I tested them, reviewed them, and oh my god, I won't tell you my thoughts and feelings on them right now. You'll have to wait until the video begins, but... I just love Primark. I thought it would be really fun to start a Primark testing series. I'm gonna be testing makeup brushes, skincare, beauty, makeup, literally everything they have to offer. I really do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, be sure to smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, if you fancy it, you know. New year, new subscription. And without further ado, let's get into the video. First step of doing your makeup well is getting your big old full fringe out of your face. I've never felt more like a telly to be in my entire life. So that's good. For foundation, I picked out this brush. This is the PS Face Foundation Brush. The packaging is so well sealed. Actually hurting my little fingers. Okay, finally got it out. This says it's perfect for buffing and blending foundation. Well, this was £1.50 and this is what it looks like. I have literally just got this out of the packaging. I don't know if you can see very well there, but there is actually a hair sticking out there. My camera is not that good to show you a single hair, but a hair has literally just fallen out. Oh, and another. I feel like I just need to go like that and get all the excess hairs off. We're looking good. We're looking good. First impressions, it feels very soft, so I'm intrigued to see what this is like. In case you're interested in what foundation I'm using, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation. I'm literally just gonna put a few pumps on the back of my hand. Dab, 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 and blend, blend, blend. Okay, this is really weird. I'm just gonna use the mirror in this palette to see what's happening on my face right now. I'm not gonna lie, I think this brush has soaked up more of my foundation than it has distributed it across my face. I feel like all the foundation has just gone down the brush and not much of it has actually gone on my face. This foundation is usually really good coverage and it's just not that good with this brush. Like can you actually tell that I've got foundation on the bottom half of my face and not on my forehead? Because I actually can't tell much of a difference. And I think it's because this brush has soaked most of the foundation up, which is not the best. However, worry thee not. Not to worry, because your gal has saved the day by spending an extra couple of pounds on another brush, which looks like this. This is the Compact Powder Buffing Brush, and it claims to buff out foundation for a flawless, full coverage application. So, I mean, it's literally the tiniest little brush ever. Look how dinky that is. So I'm gonna give the foundation a go with this brush just to see what happens. I'm just doing the exact same thing. One thing I will say about these brushes is that they don't feel bad on my face. They don't feel massively low quality, like they're not itchy or scratchy, which is a big deal because I feel like a lot of cheap brushes are like that. I remember when I used to buy cheap brushes from eBay and they would literally just hurt my eyes when I used to put my eyeshadow on, so. I'm gonna just try make the foundation more full coverage on my cheeks. So I'm actually gonna try putting the foundation straight on the brush. Oh my gosh, the foundation has actually just sunk in. It's not stayed on top of the brush. That is literally such a good experiment to do. So that's where I put the foundation on. The brush has just soaked it up. I try to put it on my face. It's not all come out of the brush. So I feel like these Primark brushes are actually gonna soak up a lot of my makeup which is not the best. Okay, so overall reviews of the first two brushes, I would say this is a big fat no. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it felt kind of weird applying my foundation with such a big brush. To me, that actually looks more like a powder brush than a foundation brush. Not that I'm an expert in makeup, but it just didn't feel right putting my foundation on with this. Plus, I think it actually swallowed 
a lot of my foundation like I think I've got about 60 p's worth of L'Oreal foundation stuck inside this brush now so I wouldn't recommend that one however it was only £1.50 so I'm not exactly gonna lose sleep over it tonight because it was literally just £1.50 although this has not like really impressed me I would say it's actually blended out my foundation quite nicely like everything on my face now is really evenly blended it actually looks like I've done it with a beauty blender which is a massive positive because when I do my foundation with a beauty blender it looks so flawless and this has kind of given that effect so this is actually a lot better than what I thought at the beginning so next up I'm gonna use some concealer and I actually didn't buy a concealer brush I basically bought this huge eyeshadow brush set which actually looks pretty cute I think this is actually quite a good gift idea I know Christmas is now done but I feel like this is actually a really cute gift so this was four pounds and you get five eyeshadow brushes and a little case in there so it's pretty good value so hang on this works out at less than a pound per brush quick maths. The thing I am going to mention about Primark is the amount of plastic and packaging you get and everything. Like, is this necessary? Probably not. So I'm actually going to use the biggest one of these to blend out my concealer. I don't know if that's going to be a good idea or not, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So we're going to take this one, which looks like this, and I'm literally just going to use this foot under my eyes and see how it goes. This could be a massively bad idea, but I'm gonna give it a go anyway. In case you're interested, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. A little bit obsessed with L'Oreal makeup, I'm not gonna lie. It's just so good. Zoom in, in, in. Oh my God, that's actually worked. Can't believe it, but I'm kind of looking good right now. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna try it here. I always put a little bit of concealer here, that's a little fun fact about me. I don't know if everybody does that or not, but my makeup always goes weird, like there where my nose is. It always like goes a bit cloggy, so I always put a bit of concealer on there in the morning just to, just to sort it out, you know? I feel like I'm battering this little tiny brush doing my concealer, but it's actually working. It's a really light brush as well, that's one thing I would say, like all of the bristles in it feel very light on my skin, which is quite nice actually, it doesn't feel too bristly, if that's even a thing. Oh my god, so this is actually working very well. I would highly recommend trying a very small eyeshadow brush to blend your concealer in. I'm going to quickly do the rest of my concealer and then I'll see you for a little powder appointment. That sounded kind of wrong, didn't it actually? A powder appointment. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, so concealer is done, voila. I'm actually very impressed with this little brush. I think it's worked wonders with the concealer and it's actually blended out everything quite nicely. So yeah, that was really good for under a pound. So for powder, I picked out this powder brush. That's literally what it says. For powder, I picked out this powder brush. This was £2.50, so it was actually a whole pound more than the foundation brush. So I am hoping for good things. Oh God, I'm struggling. Oh. <laughs> First impressions are that it feels feels good. It feels quite soft. Shock horror. I'm using another L'Oreal product. This is not sponsored or gifted, although I wish it was. Imagine if I could sit here and be like, mmm, thanks to L'Oreal for sponsoring this video. That would literally be my dream. I'm putting my normal amount on, which is quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm just gonna go go in. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, first impressions. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. It's actually distributed the powder really nicely on my face and it's also really soft. The whole point of this video was to literally test whether you could buy your whole makeup brush collection at Primark for an affordable price. And to be honest, if I had to use that powder brush for the rest of my life, I could and I'd probably really like it. So that is how good that powder brush is. And some brands literally charge such a fortune for brushes. So I would recommend that one, especially if you're just starting out. Okay, next of all, we've got a bit of contour. I'm very excited for this, I'm not gonna lie. I bought this flathead contour brush. This was three pounds. I've used a brush like this before and I loved it. These kind of brushes are just so good for getting in that little cheekbone. It says on here that it's for contouring and highlighting and adding definition to create a sculpted look. If I finish this video and I don't look like a sculpted goddess, I'll be upset. I'll be very upset. To contour, I'm using this little tart palette which i actually got in april and it looks so battered but i'm gonna use the little contour shade in there which is this one as you can see i've used it a hell of a lot get rid of any excess i've seen all the beauty gurus do this i'm actually quite nervous i'm just gonna dab and then oh god 
a lot is going on there. I'm just gonna try like blend it upwards to try and make a bit of a faded effect so it doesn't look like I've literally just gone in with a big crayon and gone like that. Oh my god, it's actually blending out quite nicely. I'm just going to try do it this way. I mean, I know I'm not testing the product, I'm testing the brush, but the brush is blending it really nicely. Step number one, make yourself look like a fish. Okay, I'm not going to lie, I put a little bit too much product on there. I'm also going to just contour around my head just to see what the brush does when it's not just on the cheekbone. So with these kind of brushes where they're like a specific contour shape, I always think people just think you could do your cheekbones with them, but these are actually really good for multitasking. Like I'm doing my forehead right now and I'm just blending it out as if it's like a bronzer brush and it's working really well. So I actually didn't buy a specific bronzer brush either. So I'm kind of using this for that and it's working pretty well. Getting right on that nose. I mean, I've put too much product on again. Why do I do this? Okay, so reviews of this brush. I think it's really good. I mean, I put way too much product on there and I'm still working at it to get rid of some of the product. However, I think it's pretty good. I'm well impressed with that. It's really soft as well. That's another thing I'll say. Like, it feels really nice on my skin. I'm gonna put that in my everyday makeup brush pot because I'm well impressed. For three quid as well. I've just moved the camera a little bit so I can just chill on my bed a little bit more but because I didn't buy a specific bronzer brush I'm gonna give the powder brush a bash. Powder brush a bash. Brush a brush. Brush a brush. Brush a bash. Basically I'm gonna put my bronzer on with this powder brush. I'm using the Benefit Hula bronzer. I just want to see if it's any good at bronzer because these like big brushes are the ones that I like the most for bronzer so I just want to see what it does. You know? Oh my god, you see that's actually worked really nicely. It just applies it really evenly. I mean, it's not the best bronzer brush I've ever used because I think it does, as I said with the foundation brush, it does kind of absorb the product a bit. I know it's different with powder, but I do feel like sometimes products can get stuck in brushes a bit and then it doesn't go on your face quite as nice, but overall, I think that could actually be used as a bronzer brush and it's pretty good pretty good. So I bought a little blusher and highlighter brush which I thought was really good because a double sided brush A normally saves you a bit of money because you just find the one brush and also it's easier when travelling and stuff if you can just have one brush rather than two. Honestly guys the amount of packaging that Primark put on their brushes is actually insane. There is literally so much going on here. So this is what it looks like. Presumably that is for blusher and that is for highlighter, am I right? Oh no, maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it doesn't actually say on the brush what you're meant to use for what. So I think I would probably, so I think I'd use that for blusher and that for highlighter. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm gonna do that anyway because I am who I am. So for my blusher, I'm laughing because I mean, look at this little blusher, it looks so pathetic, but it's Clinique and it's their Blushing Blush Powder Blush. Oh my God, that is such a mouthful. I think my mum gave me this when I first ever started using makeup and I just kept it ever since. So I'm just gonna put a bit on the brush. Do my usual little tap, think I'm a professional when I'm not. Okay, I'm always nervous with blush because I think if you just put too much on, that's it then, there's no turning back. That has actually worked really well. Maybe a little bit too well because you can see more blusher than what I normally like. I think my cheeks look quite rosy. I don't know if you can tell that on the camera, but I really like that. It's really, really soft. All the brushes, to be honest, have been really soft, apart from that foundation one, which I've literally fallen out with. Now onto highlighter, I'm gonna go back into this little tart palette and I'm gonna use this middle shade here for highlighter. It's like a goldy shade which is my fave. I'm probably gonna put too much of this on because I always do, but. Wow. That has given me a proper glow. I mean, I've literally put it everywhere, but oh my gosh. Yeah, that is really, really good. I really like that brush. It's worked really nice on my face. It's really soft and it was literally like £2.50, so. I would recommend this one. I really, really like it. Okay, back to the little eyeshadow set. I'm gonna actually take all the Ugh. I'm going to actually put them all in this little case 
Oh, look at that, that's so cute. <laughs> Imagine that when you travel it, and that is so handy. I'm definitely gonna keep this. I'm just gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow on, I'm not gonna go too full out because I am literally going out after this and I don't wanna look like a weirdo. I'm gonna use this brush first. This is like a little flat brush. None of them have got names or anything, so I can't tell you, but it's like the second biggest in the set. I've got this Violet Boss palette, which I love. I've had this for a couple of years and I just love it. I'm literally just gonna put on this shade, which is called Oh my god, I just dropped eyeshadow on my top. Oh no, laddie. That is why I never wear white. I'm gonna put this shade on here, which is called Thanks a latte i actually call it a latte but then people have started saying that i sound really northern when i say latte so i've started calling it latte all i did there was literally just put the base color on so you can't really tell what has gone on there so i'm going to use the same brush and i'm going to put on this color which is called transition and i'm literally just going to put this in my crease i'm actually nervous don't know how this is gonna blend, so Ooh, fingers crossed. Okay, so you can't actually tell what I've done really because this brush is just not blending the colour out very well. I think it's because it's so small, it's just struggling to like actually blend everything out across my eyelid. I think the brush that I used for the concealer would have been good at this, but I mean it's got concealer on it now so that ain't happening. I mean it's alright, it's getting better the more I put on. I'm gonna try the third biggest which is a little bit more of a blending brush. It's not as flat as that one. I'm gonna put this shade on which is called Are You Kitten Me? And this is a little bit darker, so hopefully we should be able to tell how this performs. I've zoomed you in a little bit more to get a closer look. Okay, so I think the gist that I'm getting with these brushes is that they are good, but they just take a little bit longer, if you get me. So I literally just sat here blending and blending, and they're still not perfect, but they are getting there. So I feel like if I just sat there and blended, it will get a lot better. It's not as if they're incapable of blending eyeshadow well. It's just they take a little bit longer than like a MAC or a Zoeva brush. Um, they're my two literal favourite eyeshadow brush brushes that I've got, so they're just what I'm comparing them to. And I know that they can literally blend stuff super quick primat ones do take a little bit longer i'm going to use this really small flat brush to just go underneath my eye with a little bit of brown eyeshadow i'm just going to use the same are you kitten me shade oh my god it looks like i was going to put the glitter one on then i'm just going to put this underneath my eye just to see how it goes under my eyes under my eyes under my eyes down where it's god i should have wanted down under my eyes, under my eyes. Oh my god, that was the worst remix I've ever done in my entire life. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually worked really well. I think you could do an eye look with those brushes alone. I genuinely do think I could do like a full eyeshadow look. I think it'd take me a while, but I could definitely do it, I think. I'm just gonna give you like a little bit of a close up of my eyes so that you can kind of see how it's worked. You see like everything is not blended in properly there. I mean, it's not bad, it's just not the best eyeshadow brushes ever, but they did cost like under a pound each, so. The only brush that I've not yet used is this little one, and I think I'm gonna use this at the very end to put some highlighter in the corner of my eye here and on my brow bone. So yeah, I am gonna use that one. I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and put some mascara on, and then I will get back to you and use the one little lonely brush that we've got left. Okay, so I've put on some lipstick, mascara, done my eyebrows. So the last thing I wanna do is put on a little bit of shimmer underneath my brow bone with the little rogue brush that I've just left on its own. I'm gonna use this shade up here which is called crystal and i'm just gonna put this on my brow bone and in the corner of my eyes i think because this brush is so small it's good for stuff like this like getting right in the nooks and crannies that's actually worked really well because it's so tiny i've just got right up there in the brows and then right in there in the eyes and it's just worked really good. I'm well pleased with that one. Ah, that moment when you take your hair out of its bobble and look how crazy my fringe has gone. Every time, every time. So this is the finished look. I really like it. I think the brushes overall have actually created a really nice look. I don't think you can tell that I've used Primark brushes on my face. I think it just looks like I've used what I always use. I think it's just like the process of putting the makeup on that's slightly different, like stuff taking longer, stuff feeling not quite as nice. I think it's that more like, but the final product is actually really good. So I'm actually really impressed. I'm just gonna 
grab all the brushes in my hand. I mean, I've literally done my full face of makeup with these brushes. I wouldn't need to buy anything else. Like I literally didn't even need a beauty blender. And if I'm honest, I actually regretted not getting a beauty blender when I first got home because I was like, oh, I always use that. But I actually didn't. This little bad boy saved the day on that front. And yeah, I was just really impressed overall. Apart from the foundation brush, which I didn't love, I would probably say get a beauty blender instead of paying £1.50 for that. But as far as all the rest go, I was really impressed. I really liked this blusher and highlight brush. I really liked this little eyeshadow brush for concealer. I thought the flat contour brush was really good. Again, like the powder brush was really good as well. I'm actually really happy with how this video has gone and like how my makeup has turned out because I was a little bit nervous at first. I'm not gonna lie, like Primark brushes, obviously they're so much cheaper than MAC or any kind of other brush make so obviously i wasn't expecting them to be amazing but i would say if you are starting out your makeup collection or you've never really used brushes before and you want to give them a go but you don't want to spend loads of money i would 100 percent say go to primark because they're really good. I know it's the end of the video and I am gonna stop this video in just a second, but I just wanted to point out that I did actually pick up this as well. This is the Makeup Brush Cleansing Spray. I saw this for two pounds and I couldn't resist not getting it. I always use the Real Techniques Makeup Brush Cleanser and if I'm honest, it's a really long process using that. This intrigued me a little bit because presumably you just spray it on the brush and then wash off the makeup. Um, I'm not really sure how it works yet, but I'm gonna have a little experiment and I'll let you know on my Instagram what I think when I use it because I mean, I mean, two pounds is pretty damn good. Let me know in the comments if you've used this or if you've used something like this because I maybe could do with a little bit of a helping hand on how to use it. Yeah, I also picked up that. Just wanted to put that in there. So guys, that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I loved testing out these makeup brushes, to be honest. I literally could do this for my video every single week. Let me know if you enjoyed it by smashing a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe as well if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week for another testing Primark video.